Hello everyone, this is Showtime 112. F-104 Starfighter is one of the most famous jet fighters. One chapter of its history, however, remains relatively unknown. I'm talking about the Vietnam War. The F-104's involvement was heavily overshadowed by types such as F-4 and F-105. The F-104 was first deployed to Da Nang, South Vietnam in April 1965. They initially took the role of fighter escort for the F-105s, which was later expanded to protection of high-value assets, such as EC-121 airborne early warning aircraft. None of these missions resulted in a shootdown of an enemy fighter. One F-104 was shot down by Chinese MiG-19s, because its faulty navigation brought it close to Hainan Island. This story was covered in a video on this channel, and you can check it out if you haven't already. Now, let me point out that all the aircraft types used in this video are not necessarily 100% historically correct. Eventually, the Starfighters would fly many close air support missions too, even though the type wasn't well suited for an air-to-ground role. In June 1966, 435th Tactical Fighter Squadron deployed to Udorn, Thailand, and operated from there. The tactics were developed for engaging MiGs together with F-4Cs. Phantoms would detect enemy fighters at beyond visual range, and starfighters would accelerate to identify them visually. This would give the Phantoms an opportunity for long-range sparrow shots. However, no MiGs ever put themselves in a position to be attacked this way. The next role given to starfighters in Vietnam was escort to F-105 Wild Weasels. The two-seat thuds depended on their speed for survival in this high-risk mission against Vietnamese SAMs, and the F-104 was more capable of keeping up with them than the F-4C. This mission was flown at relatively low altitude over an extremely well-defended airspace. F-104 lacked any radar warning receivers or other electronic countermeasures, so their pilots depended exclusively on overworked wild weasel crews for SAM warnings. 1st August 1966 clearly demonstrated the risky nature of this mission. Four F-104s were providing escort for two F-105 wild weasels in the vicinity of frequently attacked Thai Nguyen Industrial and Transport Complex. The starfighter formation was led by Major Charlie Wood, with an inexperienced Captain Jack Portnick on his wing. Number 4 was an experienced Captain, Harold Olsen, on his 86th combat mission. His recollection is where most details about this incident come from. The flight of that one of force flew at altitudes between 4 and 8,000 feet. The altitude was mostly dictated by the wild weasel's need to engage enemy SAMs but it also put them in the range of most air defense weapons in the area. As the formation entered their patrol area north of the Tug Ridge, the wild weasels almost immediately detected radar activity followed by a SAM launch. The F-104s heard, take it down, over the radio, and Captain Olsen spotted a missile coming in from 4 o'clock. The Starfighter flight pushed the noses down towards the ground, with the exception of number 2, Captain Jack Portnick. He decided to do a split S to avoid negative Gs. That didn't prevent the missile from scoring a direct hit. Captain Olsen, it seemed like Portnick didn't eject himself, but was blown out of the aircraft.
after descending to low level numbers 1 and 3 headed north. Captain Olsen decided to turn around to check on the ejected pilots. He witnessed the parachute but no movement from Kortnik. He was declared missing in action and his remains were returned in 1985. During the conflict, US Air Force had a policy of rotating pilots from various units and types and sending them to Vietnam to give them combat experience. Captain Kortnik was one such example, having initially flown C-140 transport plane. But the bad day for the starfighters didn't end there. Squadron's operation officer, Lieutenant Colonel Finney, led a two-ship flight, also escorting wild weasels, about an hour later. He was flying an F-104C named Smoke-2. Not many details are known, but Finney was apparently hit by another SA-2 missile in the vicinity of Thai Nguyen. It is very much possible that it was launched by the same battery. Lieutenant Colonel Finney was killed. F-104s flew in Vietnam until July 1967 with a total of 5,306 combat sorties. If you liked the video, be sure to press the like button, join our Discord server, support the channel on Patreon and keep watching Showtime 112.